Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In this edition, we're going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 330DL Radio Controlled Excavator in 120th scale. This is not only a highly detailed 120th scale Diecast replica, but it is a fully functional radio controlled piece. I found the max play time on a fully charged battery to be about 60 minutes for the 7.4 LiPo battery. Charging time takes about 180 minutes for a fully depleted battery. You are provided in the box with one USB charger and two AA batteries for the controller. If you're not familiar with a USB charger, basically you just plug it into one of the USB ports on your laptop or desktop computer. Now, for the controller, you put the AA batteries in the back just like this. And this is what the controller looks like on the front. Again, very similar to a, a gaming console controller or the other RC remotes that you've seen for the other Diecast Masters RCs that we have reviewed on this channel previously. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is go over the basic RC functions. So, again, for sake of this video, I'm going to refer to these buttons right here as the joysticks and these back here as the triggers. So if we start out with the right hand joystick, if we push down on it, the boom raises. If we push up on it, the boom goes down. If I push it to the left, the bucket curls in, which it's all the way in right now. So if I push it to the right, the bucket curls out. So again, left bucket com comes towards the cab, right bucket dumps out. All right, moving on to the left-hand joystick. If I push down on it, stick comes towards the cab. If I push up on it, stick goes away from the cab. If I push it to the left, machine turns to the left. If I push it to the right, machine rotates to the right. Now, because there are four different functions on each of the joysticks, you can simultaneously do one movement more than once. So for example, I can be turning and also putting the stick towards me simultaneously at the same time. All right, let's move on to the track functions. So again, those are performed by the triggers on the back of, or rather the top of the remote. So the two rear triggers, if you hold those down simultaneously, the excavator goes forward. If you hold the two front triggers down, the excavator tracks to the rear. Now, if you lock one of those down, so let's just say, for example, we're gonna hold down the right rear trigger. That locks up the left side track, which allows the machine to turn to the left. And again, vice versa. So pretty cool there. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't put a couple loads into our dump truck here. Now, mind you, by measure of full disclosure here, I have about 28 years in die cast, but maybe if I'm being generous to myself, maybe six months in RCs. So I guarantee you this thing will function a lot better than what I'm gonna be able to show you. So uh, be sure to cut me a little bit of leniency here. All right, good. We didn't get fired on our first attempt. In my line of work, we call that a good start. All right, so I have tested this in rock, loose pebbles, dirt, sand, and then whatever this is. And it really hasn't had any issue whatsoever going through any of it. And that's helped along by a metal bucket, strong gears, and the bucket has five teeth, uh, which are also metal and not plastic. So it really cuts along with no problem whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna sit back just for a couple minutes. We'll throw a few cycles through this dump truck and uh, we'll just let you enjoy the lights and sounds and function of the CAT RC330DL Hydraulic Excavator.
All right, so there you have it, collectors. The basic functions and a full product demonstration of the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 330DL Hydraulic Excavator. One other thing I do want to point out to you because it's worth noting is that this RC has full lights and sound functionality. If you look up by the cat logo on the boom, you can see that there's a work light that's on. I can toggle that on and off. As you can see, now it's off and now it's on. In addition, it does have a full range of sound functions. The tracks have a steel track sound when the machine is moving. Uh, in addition, the uh, machine has an idle sound, an engine running sound when it's running, and also, as you may have noticed, when the machine is swinging around, it has a swing sound as well to it. Overall, I'd have to say that this machine is well worth the money. More than anything else, besides its fantastic build quality and its overall value, it's just a blast to have. As you can see, it goes well with the Diecast Masters 1 16th scale Western Star dump truck, even though technically that's four scale markers larger in 1 16th scale, while the 330DL Excavator is in 1 20th scale. The two really pair well together. Also, if you look in the instructional manual for the CAT 330DL, the instructional sheet that's provided when you get the model, there's a couple unassigned buttons on here and the instructional sheet says reserved for future use or something to that extent which would lead me to believe potentially that maybe there might be some attachments coming along the line from diecast master somewhere down the road again that's pure speculation on my point but that would be potentially awesome if we could have some thumbs or hydraulic attachments such as maybe an impact hammer uh, or something along those lines. Again, because the bucket is just attached with some Phillips screws, which are very easy to undo, uh, again, I think that would just be an amazing um, addition to an already spectacular model. If you guys have any more questions about this or any other Diecast Masters product, you can always consult me or visit the Diecast Masters America website. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.